The new Create app for Microsoft 365 Copilot is rolling out now, and this video is going to be your first look at how to get there, what you can create when you get to the Create app, um, where you can learn more, and we're going to create our first image together using the new Create experience. So let's dive right in and take a look at the new application. First, let's talk about how to get to the new Create app in Microsoft 365 Copilot. To get there, you need to have a Copilot license, Microsoft 365 Copilot license for your enterprise account. And you need to have the new Copilot web UI. So if you go to m365.cloud.microsoft or office.com and you see this new interface right here with all of your apps along the side right here, then you'll have that new application. There's also direct ways that you can get to the Create app. You can go to m365.cloud.microsoft slash create or office.com slash create and that will take you directly to the create application. But I'm just gonna click create from the left hand menu right here. And we're greeted with this new experience where we can see all of the types of content we can create at the top and all of these uh, templates or inspirational starting points for our creations that we wanna make. So let's take a look at what types of content we can create with the new create app. Are you keeping track of the times I'm saying create during this uh, video? Because it seems like an awful lot. Um, we can go into create an image. That's the landing spot right now, which is you can just describe the picture that you want with plain text. You can select a style. If you have a brand kit installed or have configured a brand kit, um, which I'll go over in a future video, you can apply a corporate branding. You can also select the size that you want. You can even design a poster, which from what I can tell, you're just a little bit like a different sizing is kind of built in, right? So you're still describing with plain text what the poster is. It's just kind of in that vertical format for you. And then you can create a video. Now it's important here that it's not using um, Sora like or VO3 like video generation. I like to explain video creation in ClipChamp at the current time, late May 2025, as assembling a video. So you're going to put in the description of what kind of video you want. You can even uh, upload or attach a, a PowerPoint presentation now to create a, a talk track over an existing slide deck. But rather than generating video that didn't exist before, instead, what happens here is it writes a script based on the description. It uses text to speech to generate a talk track for that script. Then it assembles or ClipChamp assembles um, stock footage to build a project for you with a timeline. We're gonna go into this in detail in a future video and talk just about video creation, but I kinda wanted to set the stage for what it's doing. It, it generates a, um, a ClipChamp project for you that's put together with a bunch of stock footage and a script with text-to-speech technology that sounds very human-like and realistic. And then you can make edits uh, beyond that as well. You can create a form as well, which takes you just to a, a basic Microsoft form creation. You can also design a banner. And again, kind of like the poster design, you're using plain text to create an image, but your sizing is a little bit specific for what you would have for a banner or an announcement. So is it going to be a Teams post? Is it going to fit at the top of a Word document like a header? Um, is it going to be formatted for Outlook or an event in Outlook? And it sizes that perfectly to fit in those spaces uh, so that it's, it's all ready to go. It's the right resolution, the right aspect ratio, and all of that. 
Now, rather than creating an image, you can also edit an image if you want to. And that's where you attach whatever picture you want. And you can, you know, do a color pop. So you've got a black and white background. You pop certain colors. Um, you can do uh, removing a background if you want. So if you've got an image that you want to make a transparent background, these kind of basic uh, AI creations, creating stickers, removing backgrounds, changing aspects about a picture. Then under the more section, we're able to do some more traditional type of creations. So you can create a Word document, a PowerPoint presentation, or an Excel workbook as well. And then it, it jump starts that process with a co-pilot drafting experience. So that is the things that you can do in the Create app, a little tour of the interface. Now, before we get into a demo, where can we learn more about the Microsoft Copilot Create app? Well, under that more section, there is an about create button right here. If you click on that, that will take you directly to an FAQ or frequently asked questions about the Create app in Microsoft 365 Copilot. And it gives you a little bit of like, you know, an overview of what you can do, how your images are used, uh, privacy information, stuff like that. Now, I found also on learn.microsoft or support.microsoft.com, there's an entire category for uh, getting started with the Create app. So it's got um, how to use it, how to navigate it, which we just talked about, but it goes deeper into creating images, forms, videos, you know, things like that. So like if you want to create an image, it talks you through step by step how to do that. But if you're watching this video, you probably want to see this a little bit more visually, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to generate an image and I want to show you kind of my early process for using a template to create an image and not start with like a blank prompt. So if we go back over to the create app, we're going to go to the landing page right here and we can describe our image. Now, if we open this up, it's pretty blank, right? And that can kind of lead to writer's block a little bit, um, a creative block that we might have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of these inspirational images right here. These are really cool because there's categories up at the top. I really like this more section right here, this overflow, because it has some categories that you might want to look at, like if you're doing something with retail, like you're putting a product into a space or you're doing something with healthcare, it's got like industries or types of categories that you might think about uh, to inspire you to create some images. So I'm going to go down here and I want to play with um, the Copilot logo, right? Let's pretend that the Copilot logo, I want to see what it looks like as a product, right? Like maybe I want to 3D print the product logo for Copilot or something like that. So I'm going to select this template right here that's kind of like this speaker on a desk. It looks really cool. I love desk layout type of pictures. So I can see what the prompt is if I mouse over that. You know, I want to place the speaker on a white desk. These are variables or fill in the blank areas. So I'm going to click on that and you see that it puts that kind of Mad Lib style on my uh, prompt area. So I want to place the speaker. Well, I don't want the speaker. I want to replace that image with the Copilot logo. So I'm gonna take this and I'm going to replace it with, uh, on my desktop right here, copilotlogo.png. And I'm gonna place the Copilot logo on a white desk Next to, I do like that laptop, that notebook, and that plant picture. So we're going to leave that there um, with directional lighting coming from a window. So that looks pretty good. Um, you can fill in the blank with whatever things you want to use. Now, I can also edit this prompt. If it's like, this is too constrained, I want to add or remove entire sentences into my prompt, you can click Edit Prompt right here. So if I click on that, now it's just plain text, right? So I can just go with that plain text and add or remove elements uh, however I want. So then I can create a style. 
And again, this is a picker. I love this over something like a chat GPT image generation where you're doing everything with text. This kind of puts an interface in front of it. So I can go visually, do I want like a whimsical 3D type of layout? Do I want neon artwork? Do I want like synth wave, you know, retro future type of stuff? Um, do I want a watercolor or things like that? So I can apply a style to it. Although I think I want to stick to that photorealistic style. So I'm just not going to select a style. Um, we're going to talk about brand in a future version or a future video. Um, and then I can select a size. So I can go with a square. I can go with a portrait, you know, a tall picture, or I can go with a wide picture. Um, let's say that I'm making this for like Instagram, right? So I want like a one by one square image. So I'm going to keep that square size. So we're just going to click create now and let it generate that image from that prompt. And if you've used image generation in the past, uh, you might notice that it takes a little bit longer to do it this way. We're using the OpenAI uh, GPT-40 engine for creating images now with this uh, new Create app. And that goes as kind of a pixel by pixel wipe from top to bottom, rather than um, it was almost doing it like in phases where it'd be like 30%, 60%, 70%, and it would kind of like pop in certain areas. Um, so it, it goes from like a top to bottom. It takes a little bit more time. So what we've got here is the completed image. It added the word copilot. It also made it flat. It kind of made it look like a sticker, right? So I don't want that. What I want is I want a 3D representation. So I'm going to say uh, change the copilot logo um, to be a 3D printed uh, model. Uh, as a desk decoration. And then I'm going to, I could select a style, a size, I could kind of change any of this stuff with text, but I'm just going to update with my prompt right there to try to turn it into a 3D model and see what that would look like. Okay, so that was pretty cool. Um, it changed this into a three-dimensional type of a, a layout for me uh, or a representation of the Copilot logo. I could keep iterating on this, right, with, with text prompts. I could say, you know, put the take the word Copilot off, put just the logo on its pedestal, put it above the notebook, um, kind of spread the items out on the desk a little bit. I could kind of change that and work with it until I get something that I want. Now, further on to this, I can go in and I can use uh, AI editing to like erase things or add other elements to the image, remove the background, stuff like that. I could add text if I want to uh, from my brand kit or just other fun text representations. I can upload actual pictures if I want to. Uh, also different visualizations if I want from an image library of graphics. I can also mark up the image if I wanna kinda of draw on it. I could do that as well. And this is all layer based so I could add layers of text or layers of graphics, things like that. Um, but the last thing I want to show you, because this is just a first look, is the options across the top right here. I can also resize this image. So this is a square one by one type of image. I could size it for social media, like if I want it to be square or for an Instagram story or a Facebook cover page, things like that. I could uh, arrange it for like a paper printout, something like that. Um, I'm going to keep the original square, but the last thing I wanted to show you is how to get this out of Create. That's with, of course, the download button right here. And you have a few options to download your creation. You can download a PNG, a JPEG, or even a PDF of that design. And you can either copy it as an image, so you can go paste it somewhere else, or you can just hit download right there. And then finally, it's important to understand the content credentials like this was created. It does actually stamp that stuff uh, into the image and you can choose to embed that in the file for where this came from, when it was created, uh, it was produced by me, what I did in the image. I can actually embed that into the picture that gets downloaded 
and then I can just download that as a PNG file and take it and use it however I want. So um, that is a quick first look. The next videos are going to delve into uh, writing effective prompts, um, working with videos and creating videos, making videos from PowerPoint presentations, creating a corporate brand kit that you can use so that you have fonts and images and logos, stuff like that. Um, we're going to do a whole series of stuff about the create experience in Microsoft 365 Copilot. So if you're interested in that type of thing, uh, feel free to subscribe down below and I will see you in the next video.